so you might have heard about uh, uh, the gram negative and gram positive bacteria uh, the gram staining method uh, which was named after the uh, danish bacteriologist hans christian uh, gram who originally devised this uh, method in 1882 which was which was published in 1884 gram uh, positive bacteria these are the bacteria which retain the crystal violet uh, stain in this group cell membrane contains more than 80% peptidoglycan uh, that means they, there is a thick layer of peptidoglycan Uh, which retain the color uh, for example streptomyces uh, retains uh, the color of this crystal violet stain, violet stain and that is uh, an example of uh, gram positive bacteria however in case of gram negative bacteria this uh, these bacteria do not retain this uh, violet dye and are colored red or pink in this group uh, the membrane Uh, contains more concentration of lipid and uh, lipoproteins uh, which replace uh, peptidoglycan and there is a very thick a very thin layer of peptidoglycan as compared to the gram positive bacteria escherichia coli and pseudomonas are the examples of uh, the uh, gram negative bacteria uh, moreover ticoic acids are not found in gram negative uh, bacteria and are a major constituent of gram positive uh, cell wall and they contribute to the uh, wall stability in uh, these gram gram positive bacteria compared with uh, gram negative bacteria gram uh, gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria are more resistant against antibiotics uh, because of their in impenetrable uh, cell walls here uh, you can uh, have a overview of uh, these uh, gram negative and gram positive bacteria uh, there are also in addition uh, you can see the pili are mostly present in uh, gram gram negative bacteria and this is why they are more uh, resistant to the uh, antibiotics as well and uh, there is a thin layer of peptidoglycan Uh, porine proteins are present uh, in the outer membrane uh, periplasmic space is present between the uh, peptidoglycan layer and uh, the inner uh, membrane uh, 